I got a song called Jetstream that I'm putting on my new EP coming out, and I wanted to have a jet plane sound, and I was going to go for like a synthesizer plug-in, which I still might do, I still might blend it in there, but I thought, how cool would it be to make a little vacuum cleaner sound like a jet plane? So that's what I'm going to try to do and show you how I would go about testing this. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not yet. Okay, then I'm going to take that sound and kind of clean it up. I'm going to stretch it out and see how how it sounds when it's like that. Okay, I'm going to raise the pitch of this. Let's see that. Yeah, that's too too loud, but <laughs> I like that. That's what I'm talking about right there. However, that alone is not what I'm looking for. I'm going to duplicate this track, and I'm going to lower it. I'm going to put these two sounds on a bus, and then I'm going to add in some crazy reverb. This one. Okay, so that reverb is nice, but uh, it still needs some some lower action going on here submarine that's a cool plug-in by waves if you have headphones on or big speakers you might be able to hear my it in my voice right now but i'm going to try messing with this sub octave right now it's still not convincing me that it's a whoa dude that would be an awesome song intro right there that sound okay <laughs> focus Brent what do we want now holding true to the jet plane sound coming out of the vacuum I still need to get some more tone out of this thing so it actually blows air out of the side here so I'm gonna try to capture some of that holy crap <laughs> oh man with those plugins on that was kind of insane uh I'm obviously going to EQ what happened right there. There's a frequency I want to pull out of the top end of this. Yeah, there's that like jet plane hiss on the top there. I'm going to try to do like a filter sweep on this to give the illusion of the jet plane passing by. i got to see how it sounds. I think it sounds better without that lower one on the bottom there for sure the pitch of the jet has to fall so i'm going to take this second one i'm going to lower the pitch and i'm going to have it blend into that one maybe that'll help okay i'm going to do that one more time but i'm going to lower the third one even further i'm going to duplicate that low windy one as well and i'm going to get just more of the high end off the top of that One last thing I'm going to do is add some panning to it so it sounds like it's actually whizzing by. I'm going to bounce this all. Okay, now I muted all these previous channels so I have less to do there. I'm going to try one more filter on this, another reverb called Super Massive. I actually edited the pitch of the whole sound to be more consistent right there. I'm going to do one more sweep now with the high end filter. Okay, for me, this one's the winner. This is what I feel like I would use in the track. The only thing I'd probably do to it, since there's like clearly a pitch to it, I would tune that pitch to the song. Right where it kind of rips with that low end, I'm gonna do a duplicate just at that spot. You can kind of see how I went from turning a vacuum cleaner into a jet plane sound but anyways please hit that like and subscribe feel free to shoot questions and i will catch you in the next video peace